Okay, welcome everyone to my how-to video on performing assignment 7009A, the schedule of deliverables. So taking us from the start, this is our course Moodle page, and you want to click on week five. Um, all of the 7009 supporting links and materials will be under week five, right underneath the first due date for 7009. Um, okay, so I'm going to take us into the wiki, so I'm just going to click this link right here. Um, in the overview of the week and that will take us into the course wiki onto the assignment prompt for 7009. So there are four parts to this assignment. Um, all four will be completed and submitted as a separate submission, um, but we're going to be focusing on 7009A and specifically the schedule of deliverables which should be an attachment to a memo. So in a previous video or in, in another video I've covered the um, memo plan that you have to create, which is basically your plan for researching and completing the first draft of your SWOT report. And now I'm going to be focusing on the schedule of deliverables. So basically the key differences I'd like for you to keep in mind between these two, other than the formatting, is in the plan memo, you are just talking about your plan for researching and drafting the first draft of your SWOT report. Whereas in the schedule of deliverables, you are covering a timeline for all of the documents you are creating for all four parts of 7009. Okay, so the schedule of deliverables covers everything. The mini project plan in the form of a memo only covers getting you to the first draft of the SWOT report. Okay, so um, to check out what a schedule of deliverable looks looks like. I'm going to click on this link here and that will take me into another wiki page and it basically kind of describes it um, but the thing I want you to pay attention to is this example down here at the bottom. So if you click on that this is what will pop up and this is what your schedule of deliverables should look like. Now this example is built off of the job portfolio so it's built on a different assignment but the level of complexity is where it needs to be. So your schedule of deliverables should look just like this except for the specific details underneath each column that should be unique to you. So it should say schedule deliverables at the top. Um, along with the appropriate assignment number. So this would not be the number that you include. You would say 7009 here, okay? Then the date you completed it, and then your client. So we know from the assignment page that the client of 7009 is Mrs. DiMaggio, so you would list her name, and then next to that, the small local business you chose to do 7009 on, okay? Um, and then down here at the bottom, uh, prepared by, you should write your full name here and then the date you completed it, okay? Um, so the rest of this is pretty straightforward. Um, I'm going to focus on this middle, middle column first. So th this should list every text you need to create. Um, and so the very first dr uh, text you need to create for 7009 um, is either the schedule of deliverables or the plan memo in 7009A. So you might list the schedule of deliverables here and then the plan memo here. So to the left of this, in the very far left column, um, these are prerequisite texts. So texts that had to have been created first before you can do your text. So uh, before you can create the plan memo or this schedule of deliverables, you had to have received an email from Alex or the memo that I wrote from Alex. Okay, So those were prerequisite texts. You could not have started um, your schedule of deliverables or plan memo without having first received those. So that's basically the explanation of these two columns. Um, okay, so a couple of things in here I want to draw your attention to. Um, these items are things that you're receiving as part of peer review. So 7009 also has peer review requests and peer review response memos. So this column here, um, this is the uh, peer review request memos you are receiving. Okay, and notice that then you would have your classmates names here they, as the people accountable 
for creating them. So this is the peer review request memos you're receiving written by two names of classmates. And then down here, similar thing, these are the peer review reply memos that you are receiving from your classmates. So everything that is left aligned here are things you are creating, okay? And everything right aligned in this column are things that your classmates or somebody else is creating, okay? Um, and you should list that. So since I've already started talking about accountability, I'll talk about the far right column now. Um, the accountable column is just the person accountable, the person responsible for creating it. So for most of these, your name will be here. Um, but for some parts of the assignments where you're getting peer review request memos and peer review reply memos, the specific classmates' names who are supposed to be sending those to you should be written in here. Okay, um, And then, of course, this column is the due dates. Now, you are welcome to use the due dates that are in Moodle. However, I would much prefer to see your personal due dates. So when are you planning on trying to get these things done? Um, some of you are in different time zones than I am. Adjust this to your time zone. Okay, That way I get a very realistic view of when you are doing each of these documents. Okay. Um, that's what I'll be looking for, is getting a really honest idea of when you're doing all the work. And if it looks like you're not giving yourself enough time for specific parts, I might talk to you about that and let you know that, um, you know, that I'm concerned that you may not have enough time. <laughs> so just be honest. Um, try to really visualize a timeline for all parts of it. Um, okay, so to get you started on this, returning to our Moodle page, um, so under week five, I've kind of gotten this started for you. So if you open up, uh, here it is, 7009A outline. If you click on that, this is what will pop up basically. So the first page is um, basically an outline of the content for the plan memo. But if you scroll down to the second page, this is basically the start of a schedule of deliverables. Um, so you're welcome to use this or create your own, but obviously you'll need to adjust this. So like the schedule of deliverables title is in the wrong place. So you'll need to left align that and label it correctly. All right. And then fill in the rest of the information. All right. Um, so that's basically it. Um, make sure that your schedule of deliverables is complete, that it shows a level of complexity and really pay attention to um, making sure that you um, set your timeline so that you're able to complete each assignment well and in time, um, but you're also giving yourself plenty of time to complete those steps effectively, especially your first draft of your SWOT report. Um, okay, so you can start this assignment as early as you like, um, and that might be a good idea because you are likely to be working on a couple of other assignments at the same time. So if you have any questions, please feel free to um, bring those to our virtual classroom or send me an email. Good luck.